discovers what a charming notion a practical. This really is an attempt to take the material of the stage musical and completely transform it. Stephen Sondheim's music here is nothing short of a, of a masterpiece. I think Sweeney Todd's the best thing he's ever written. It just pulls about every heartstring, pushes every emotion from start to end, really. The music is, is very complex. He put so much into it. I'm surprised anybody can actually perform them on stage. He's the consummate master of the American musical theater. We could not have done it without feeling that he blessed all of the decisions made. It's a really good movie. I love watching an audience in a theater, and they don't know whether the people are singing or talking because they're so enwrapped in the story. We were determined that every cast member use their own voice. I've worked with Johnny several times, and obviously this is new, him singing. All right, you, sir, how about a shout? Come and visit your good friend, Sweeney. We had no doubt that he was the best actor for the role, but none of us had ever heard him sing. The question comes, you think, think you can sing? <laughs> I will have some... We just had this fantasy. He starts singing, and it's like, oh, my God, what the hell is that? <laughs> but he sounds great. Sweeney. Waiting, I want you, please. He really sings from the gut, and it's very sexy. Is that squire on the fire? He does bring something different to it, which just pushes it that much further. And I'd say that about all the actors, they all bring a certain modern quality to it. Oh, Mr. Todd, I'm so happy. I could eat you up, I really could. With Helena, that's a hard character. That one musically is the hardest. Mrs. Lovett's always on the go. She's out there dishing pies out. She's got to move and sing a lot. Wait, what's your rush? What's your hurry? Now let's throw the props in, chucking the weird stuff into the pie mix. It's very complicated. It's incredibly fast. And she makes a pie at the same time. I'm quite good at multitasking, but it's like the Olympics of multitasking. In Pirelli's entrance, Sasha Baron Cohen comes out. He's got an amazing voice, and it's just hysterical. Despite all the laughter, we realized Sasha's got a great voice. It felt perfect for him. It was a great bit of casting. It was at the pop! One of the best numbers in the movie is a song called Pretty Women, where Alan Rickman is in the barber chair and Sweeney is about ready to slit his throat. And they both start to sing about pretty women, but they mean such opposite things. It's just such a surreal experience. There's Johnny, and there's Alan Rickman singing. The thing that one remembers is the fact that you're singing. I couldn't have predicted that that was going to happen and can't quite believe that it has. Tim Burton filmed it to the music. He's chosen camera movements and he's chosen cutting from the music. The way the camera glides, the way it moves, it's a perfect fit. This is Johnny Depp singing. This is Helena Bonham Carter. This is Alan Rickman. Everybody has done a great vocal performance. To watch everybody do that and do it well, that was quite a thrilling thing for me. How about a shave? 